to know you guys, and I think excellent, excellent entertainment here. So thank you guys for joining us. Um, I'll fire off the first question here. So you guys are here from a, a number of different uh, classes, okay? But you qualified from a show last year, okay, or 2019. What's the competition look like, okay? Um, what are your thoughts going into the format? We're running a different format. So with, that, with the competition level that you're against, uh, what are your thoughts going into the format? I think with this format uh, up here, all these cars are built pretty much to the rules and about the same. Um, comes down to a matter of getting a break or not getting a break out here. Every car is built good, and, and it's pretty about dead even in the class I'm running. Yeah, I, I feel the same way. I mean, there's front-wheel drive street stocks, mainly W bodies or Camry, and they're all built the same, built the same rules. Everybody here's one. That's why they're here and qualified. So, uh, you know, should be a pretty good show. Um, everybody's really got built to the rules. So, I mean, it's not really anybody else going to be up, have an upper hand or anything. It's mostly just if you know how to drive or not, I guess. <laughs> Well, I'm in the mini mod class. Um, this is a class where people like the weld, and those of us who like the weld are still cutting right now. <laughs> but uh, I think it's going to be a rowdy heat, and I'm excited to get behind the wheel. I got to say that there's a pretty good group of people that is affiliated with it. I want to take time out and say, hey, I want to thank all of our sponsors. Uh, if it wouldn't be for all the volunteers and all the people that it took to get this operation going, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's pretty hectic sometimes. And uh, that's what brought me here. You know, I spoke with Dustin first time about the Portland gig. That's where I qualified at. Uh, seemed like an up-and-up -up type person. I think that's a strong head to this whole organization. Just keep it going. Make it competitive. I think you guys will do well. Howard, I appreciate that. Um, you know, this, this wasn't built just for, you know, one person to succeed, but to give all you guys the exposure um, and recognition that you guys deserve. So, you know, hopefully we can showcase that later on today. You guys are all sitting in front of, um, second question, you guys are all sitting in front of these trophies, okay? Um, what, they're, all, they're pretty neat trophies, okay? What do you, I want to know what you guys think of them, okay? And where would you display this at home if you got to take this home tomorrow night? Uh, so I think the trophies look awesome. They did a really good job making them. And if I... Happen to get one, it would definitely be probably in the living room somewhere. So if people came around, they could see it. But I think they look awesome. Um, I know where I'd put mine in the card room, my little man cave in the back of the house, so all my buddies could see it when they come over on Saturday. <laughs> yeah, mine's going straight in the uh, THQ racing shop along with the rest of them, right up on the wall. I think the trophies are pretty sweet. I mean, one of a kind. I never seen them like that. I'd probably let it sit in the kitchen table for a little while and then take it down to the shop. Um, I think the trophies are cool. They're unique. They're not going to blend in with all the normal plastic trophies that you're going to have on your shelf. They're, you're going to look at it in your garage and you're going to remember that event. You're going to remember where that trophy came from. And uh, yeah, I would put it on a shelf or on top of my toolbox in a garage and just use it as motivation as I'm building the next one. I believe if you look at the trophies very closely, it represents what Triple D is all about. To signify that if you have a dream, you look at each and every one of these drivers here, I think I can vouch for them as much as anyone else that somebody says you can't do something you're already defeated determination is what is this is all about right here i've never seen anything quite like this now myself my situation i judge the way 
people represent themselves. You walk a certain path in your lifetime, we all do. We're all remembered by what we do. That is a token right there that you could sit in your house, in your garage, in your sponsorship, anywhere. And it would signify that determination got you where you're at. Don't ever forget where you came from or what you've done. Uh, very well said, Howard. This is Jeff Hobbs. I am the uh, director of marketing and the voice of Triple D Entertainment in the King of Ohio. And I got a two-part question, so it depends on where it fits for you guys. You can hit it either way. One, I want the hats in front of you and say Jags. Jags high performance. And I've got a chance to be at their their shop in, in Delaware. Unbelievable. Dustin Woods did an amazing job of getting Jags on board. And to me, talk to me about the thoughts of having big-time sponsors like Jags to give a platform to derby drivers because I'm telling you, J3's running the show now. He gets it. I mean, they're all about high-performance drivers, and they understand that derby drivers are absolutely high-performance drivers. So talk about that. Let's do that one quick, and then I'll come back with my second. So talk about Jags and, and all the sponsorships and the things that we've done. Um, I think Jags is probably one of the most recognizable names in the industry. Um, and everywhere you go, they're recognized. It puts a real good name on the sport. And the products they got are, are second to none. Um, if you want to win, you want to use Jags for sure. Yeah, I think, I think Jags is one of the biggest companies that you could get to, to, to get on board with you and, and, and use them as a platform or vice versa. Uh, that's pretty, that's pretty cool. And I honestly, I haven't seen it done anywhere else. You know, any, any, any other big names or big, you know, other big names, you know, that that's, that's pretty cool. It's pretty neat. Come on the same page as him. I haven't really seen anybody else use Jags as like a derby platform. I think it's really cool. It's once in a lifetime thing you can get into. I think just the attempt of Getting derbies on a higher platform and getting more recognition is is awesome because there's a lot of talent out there, a lot of people who work hard every single night and then drive their hearts out, and they don't get the recognition they deserve. It's not like they're NASCAR drivers with a bunch of fans. They don't. Have, most of us don't have huge fan bases. We're just doing this for the fun and the love of the sport. So I hope this gets the drivers' names out there and helps them get recognized. I really don't want to be known, but, you know, it just comes along with the job, I guess. No, I want to say that, uh, you know, you take a, an organization like this, and when they back someone, it signifies what both organizations are about. They were both started at the ground. They had to start somewhere. They all become recognized. The products, the people, is your sole supporters. To be recognized in a group of this fashion is an honor within itself. So, you know, for that being said, it signifies it. I mean, there's nothing you can't say. So I hope these drivers and everybody else is affiliated with this enjoys this moment as much as what I have. I think Carson said it really well, that the idea um, that derby drivers have not gotten the recognition that they deserve. You guys work your tails off. You spend a ton of time away from your family. You spend a ton of money on these cars on how much you got invested. Perfect example. You know, Jegs is about high performance. They, have, they, they call you guys racers now. You can get involved with, with the insider deal on our website where you can get 5 to 20% off everything that you buy from Jegs. We had a guy that got the insider deal. He spent $5,000. He got $800 off. So, again, you know how much you spend and how much that, that can work out. So, again, I tell the people at home to check out the, the insider deal where they treat you like an NHRA racer, and which is cool. My second part of the question, I'm gonna, I want you to start with Dylan because he, he's, my, he's my young guy. We also just entered into, we're entering into a partnership with UNOH here in Lima. And UNOH is highly recognized for their high-performance motorsports. They have their own racing team. They have diesel mechanics. And they have just tons of things where they are really getting guys like Dylan, younger guys that, that want to get 
in, in their shop and they want to do high performance motors. So talk about how you've grown up. And again, we got guys that have been here for a long time. We got guys that are just pretty new to it. The idea of growing up in, in your shop and then maybe taking it and making a career out of it through a place like UNOH. Uh, definitely making a career out of it. I mean, every you learn something new pretty much every day when it comes to stuff like that. Um, a lot of long nights in the shop helps out. You never know whenever you're going to need it. Um, if you go to, like, say you go to a decent mechanic or something, you could broke down on the side of the road, not know nothing about it, and never know what to do. But you went to school for a couple of weeks and did it. You know how to fix your truck and get home. I think it's important that more kids need to start learning to be more mechanically inclined. You know, you don't see kids young like him or how I used to be a few years ago. You know, just learning how to weld, learning how to turn a wrench, it's it's a skill that's slowly being forgotten, faded out, and it seems like people don't want to work on their own stuff no more. And it's not just the derby hobbies, it's just, you know, life, you know, changing your oil, stuff like that. It needs to be taught more often, and, yeah, I just, uh, I like seeing kids that are younger getting into you know, learning mechanical stuff, you know. I don't know how to say it any better. Well, that's a, that's a great answer. Um, I've got a maybe a, a question slash comment. Um, we, when you look at the, the group of drivers around you this weekend, anytime you go to a show, there's always about, let's say there's 30 in a class, right, or 30 in your heat. There's maybe 10 cars that could win that, right? This weekend, I mean – you look around this field, you have 15, 18, 20 cars in your heat. Every single one of you are capable of winning it. Is is there a different mentality when you come to a show like this, when you know, I mean, you've got to beat everyone? Um, yeah, you got to beat two people in the heat, but everyone's capable of winning this show. Yep. Um, I look around at the cars in my class, and... I think every single car is a competitor, and it's just going to come down to the driver. I spent a lot of time in my car. I stayed up all night last night to make sure everything was A1, work all the bugs out, and I just wanted to make sure that it comes down to the driver. It comes down to me and my decision-making behind the wheel, and I just, I just got to get in the car and think to myself it's another day in the office and you know let my instincts you know do the work for me Let's go next. um i kind of kind of keep the same mentality whether it's a small race a big race you know if you don't go out there and try making a shot somebody's gonna take the shot on you um you can't go in there you know soft or scared or anything because you'll get picked apart you know they're not scared of you so you can't be scared of them Spent a lot of long nights in the shop uh, trying to get the car ready for big shows like this, and it comes down to it, when you're down there, you know, long nights, it's, it pays off most of the time. Yeah, I, I think, I think uh, it's always the same thing. I think when you go somewhere, I've been driving 21 years this year, and you change your style. You, you, you have a style, but you have to change it to each track, to each co bit of competition. And it all, you know, I think you get something in your head and, you, and you, you decide before you go out that that's how you're going to do it. And you hope for the best. You hope you, you've thought about it and thought about it and you've had ten different ways of looking at it and what you're going to do. But then I think you pick the one, you go with it, and you hope that you made the right decision once you get out there because it, it is what it is. Um, pretty well said. Um, with this format, a little bit different than usual. Um, you look around, and every driver's car is built pretty much the same. You think everybody's – so, to me, it just gets me a little bit more mentally focused, a little bit more ready to go. I'm already an adrenaline junkie anyways, so this really gets me going. Um, my eyes kind of light up. I'm an old football guy. I love the special teams and cracking them up. So, um, what it, hopefully my car holds up because I plan on putting on the show. So it's definitely not going to be easy because you are going against the best of the best. I mean, there's a lot of good drivers out here. And I've been thinking about how to drive for the format again for the last, like, week. 
it's been in my head. I'm like, I don't know what I'm going to do again. But it's definitely going to be different and going to try putting on a show. Last but not least, I got to say this. Uh, competition. The word competition, every one of these gentlemen down here has expressed a, a drive. It came from somewhere. Was it family? Was it friends? But there's always one thing that we all look at. It's the safety of us and the people on the, on the track. The judges, the officiating group, our fans. I mean, come on. I don't go without building a car without thinking of that number one word, safety first. Uh, I never stop tinkering with that word, safety. You got to take and make these cars more safe for the drivers and for the people around us. Uh, I think that's one of the illustrations that we all can see as far as the rules went. Stuff that was in the driver's compartment area were not a gray area. If it was overbuilt, you're all right. We want you to be safe. I don't know how many times I had that official or them inspectors tell me that. I knew they were more concerned about myself than they were about the car itself. So for each driver that's here and for everyone that's watching, Never forget that word safety, because without us, we all want to go home with all the fingers and the toes and eyes and stuff to our family. I got three little granddaughters, and I'll tell you what, I want to go home and see them. But I also got a wife that's telling me this is my last one. So I touch that part of this briefing for one reason. I wanted to leave with someone remembering something. If one of you get hurt, there should be every driver that hears about it that should be thinking, how can we prevent that again? So, you know, great organization, great people. I'm enjoying this moment, trust me. I've enjoyed it for the last year. Keep it going, guys. I got to bail out, you know. Mama's, she laid the law down to me. So, you know, I'm going out and have fun one more time, guys. Well, Howard, there's a lot of respect, I think. Uh, one thing that I've seen throughout the weekend with all the drivers across all the classes. Um, because, you know, you've already won stage one of this by qualifying. Not everybody could get here, okay? You can't have a hundred cars here. This is the elite of the elite. There's in some of your classes, there's 15 to 18 of you, you know, out there. So it's pretty neat to see you guys win stage one. Stage two will be today. And then stage three will be championship Sunday, which is pretty neat. Howard, you touched on some safety, uh, some safety things I want to talk about. Um, for far too long, there wasn't a, a true like sanctioning body of demolition derby. And we've, We've uh, implemented some things in our rules with the door plates and the rollover bars that, yeah, they can kind of be a pain in the, in the stalker stuff. But the last thing that we want, guys, and, and the intentions behind that is for someone to be hurt and not go home to their families on Monday or Tuesday, right? And, and I think that's the respect across, you know, we see, we're seeing this weekend. When, uh, and, and I appreciate you guys building to that, you know, and putting something on your doors because everyone knows – you know, with the driver's door situation, every all you guys are going to pull, pull a door tonight or tomorrow, okay? You pull a door, I don't want you to get hurt for it because you, you didn't, you know, sometimes you pull a door, you don't get hurt. Sometimes you get punished for it, okay? We wanted something on that door that if you did that, that was your choice, you know, but I don't want you to be, be hurt for that. So thank, I appreciate you mentioning that. That's, that's something that we're trying to, to, you know, further the sport along. Uh, we're, we're blessed to have Derby T's TV here, and we, so.
talk to the folks at home who are, who's going to be watching tonight and, and who's going to see you uh, hopefully tomorrow pick up that uh, King of Ohio trophy. I drove with my uh, dad back many, many years ago. I met my wife at this same track 43 years ago. She was on one side of the fence, and I was on the other side. I was a competitor. She was an observationer. So, you know, I had, I had to get out of it because I had to raise kids. You know, we got married, had, started having children. Uh, bottom line is, is the group of people that showed up here today to help me. They mean more to me than anything. And I was surprised that they showed up. But the mentality of it is that that man that showed up sparked me six years ago. And when Triple D provided this opportunity for me to come and finish my career at the same track that my dad and I started at. Guys, there's more heritage here than I can ever imagine. That's why I sit here and tell you, man, when you guys told me what was going on over at Portland, I was like, wow, what a way to write a final story. I don't know what the outcome will be, but I hope we all, we're all winners. I don't care how we look at it, guys. We're all winners. Triple D, Judds, everybody. We're all winners, man. We wouldn't be here today. We're all sportsmen. I mean, come on, it's a sport. We make this what it is. So, I mean, guys, there, there's not any more to say. I mean, this is a storybook ending here, guys. And, I, and hopefully, every one of us will be able to go home to our families. Some of us has got memories right now that we're thinking about. It's what it's all about. Generate a, a family. Um, I want to say that the word family doesn't just mean who you're related to or what your bloodline is. I got some really, really good friends that I would gladly call my family. I got my buddy Colin who helped me wrap my car up overnight, stayed up overnight with me. That's a real friend. That's the kind of people you need to surround yourself with. Uh, my buddy Alex Byrne, a.k.a. Cowbilly, he helped me weld my car up one day out of each weekend for the past month or two. And um, you know, with the help of my dad and uh, an old mentor of mine, I like to call Hillbilly, Kevin Couch, um, he helped me get my car wrapped together this weekend and he between him and my dad they're the ones that you know got me in the welding got me in the turning wrenches and helped me improve myself and you know i'm an independent kind of person i spend a lot of nights alone working on my car but i can't just not give them credit because i don't think i would be here without them you know it's not about the amount of friends you have it's the quality of friends. And when you got friends like that, I don't call them friends. They're brothers to me. Um, I definitely would not have been able to make here without my friends and my family. Um, there's a lot of nights I didn't really want to work, but my dad pushed me to it. And, you know, it works out in the long run because if I wouldn't have stayed up that one long night, I might not have been able to make it today. It's friends, family. Grandpa, Grandma, Mom, Dad, they all helped me. I couldn't have got here today without them or had a chance to even get here. So big thanks to Mom and Dad and my friends. Yeah, you know, same, just same as these guys here. You know, I got my daughter here. Uh, she's running youth class. Um, and then I guess I'll be front-wheel drive. I got some friends here, regular immediate family showing up. But, like, you know, these guys said you wouldn't be here without everybody else. So this guy right here. You know, I've got, I wouldn't be here without a, a part he gave me, you know what I mean? So that's just the way Derby is, and that's that's the way it's going to go. And uh, we're all here just to have a good weekend, hope for the best, hope the best outcome. Yeah, um, this, it means a lot to me. My son also, uh, he runs a 
rear wheel drive street stock Chandler. He's number eight. Um, he helps me out a lot. Uh, my buddy Jake, um, just everybody putting up with me and all the cars. I mean, I live in a pretty nice neighborhood and it looks like Sanford and Son at my house. So it is what it is, but it's a lot of fun. And if it wasn't for everybody putting up with the stuff, you know, uh, my family really, really puts a lot forward. My buddies, um, Heck, these guys give you the right arm. So uh, the Derby family is, is huge. And uh, these guys, uh, it doesn't matter if I'm running here, if I go to Kansas and run, uh, Chad Smith and those guys out there. If I, I went to Minnesota and ran here a couple months ago, guys up there treat It's just one big family in the Derby world. And, and uh, you know, guys come out there and they'll help you work on your car to get it ready because everybody wants to put on a good show and give everybody the best chance to win. And, and these guys really out here are, are brothers. And, and you make uh, – really true good friends out here on this track and, and in these pits. So I enjoy being a part of it, and it's really a blessing. Thank you. Uh, yeah, the family has been doing a lot with, like, having my dad and grandpa always helping me, taking time away from my grandma and my mom and then me with my girlfriend and the kid. It's You're always working on the cars and always got to be doing something and, Makes it nice having all the family and friends there to help you and support you, I guess. Appreciate those answers, guys. Uh, Steven Derby Nation here for DTV. Just, first, I just want to say I really respect all of you drivers for being here, for the sacrifices that you made to be able to qualify for this event. Uh, it's prestigious. There's a lot on your shoulders this weekend uh, to be able to come out and compete at this level. And I want to know just on a personal level for each of you drivers, what would it mean to you to walk away this weekend as the king of your class? What is that going to mean to you? Um, if I walked away the king of my class, it would mean a lot because you're definitely going against, I mean, the best of the best. And these guys have been derbying for a long time, and it would be awesome to be able to say that you did it. And, yeah, you're going against a lot of good guys. Um, the competition here is probably second to none in the class that I'm running. Um, these guys are all good. It's all capable. It would mean probably the world, probably the biggest one I've ever won if I won this. Uh, King of Ohio, to me, is, it means a lot because these guys are all really good drivers and the cars are all really built. So it would mean the world. Yeah, same. I've won a lot of derbies and been to a lot of derbies. And, uh, I'm not, I, it'd be one of the nicest trophies I've probably ever won. And, uh. It, 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 it'd mean a lot to win, and, and I think, you know, my daughter, she's going to do well, I think, in the youth. So I'm hoping to be right there with her. That way both of us can bring something home. So, yep. Uh, again, yeah, it'd be amazing, you know, and it's one of a kind trophy you know, to stick up on the wall. You know, I'd like to bring home something, you know, for my dad running in the street stock class. It'd be nice if we could both bring something home, you know, show off a little bit. <laughs> Man, there ain't no better feeling than coming home with a trophy and you know feeling like feeling like you're the best person there, feeling like you're you're a superstar when you win a derby. But I'll tell you, no matter the outcome, if I win or dead dead last, it's not going to stop me from working even harder and trying even harder next year. Um, if I'm the best of the best today or tomorrow. That ain't going to mean it's going to be that way next year. i got to keep working harder to maintain it. Um, I still got that hunger in me, and it's going to last for a long time. Um, the day that I, as soon as I get home, I'm going to flip my hood and start welding some more. You no, know, it never stops. Tis the season. Well, like I said before, gentlemen, for me to win one of these... It'd be a token of a storybook ending. Wouldn't like it any better than... Go ahead there, young fellow. You want to... All right. Uh, mean a lot. it mean a lot. Uh, I'd probably have to say that uh, the hardware only indicates a specific event. It's in your heart and your souls that we all know what determination got us to that point. 
We're all born with a certain destination. Everybody judges yourself upon the path that you choose to walk to get to that destination. What a headstone that would be for the journey that I have walked. It'll always be remembered. Ain't nobody going to take it from you. I don't know what I'd do if I did win this. I mean, I don't know if I'd be able to handle it. But, hey, let's give her a whirl, guys. You know, come on. You know, I'd like to take a moment right here and give you guys a round of applause for the job that you guys have done. For that being said, thank you much, gentlemen. Last question I wanted to ask you guys, just from my standpoint, DTV is about giving drivers recognition, putting you on a bigger stage so that fans of the sport can see the faces to the names of drivers all over the country. Triple D Entertainment, Dustin and his crew, they're also all about giving you drivers recognition, as you can see with the Ski Inc. Uh, d driver, pit, uh, excuse me, driver press conference here today. I'm getting wrapped up in the emotion, man. You're, 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 you're touching my heart. Uh, I just want to know, man to man here, how does this recognition feel to you drivers after the time that you spent in this sport kind of being recognized for the work and the sacrifice that you put in? Just stay with it, guys. The determination will pay off. You're, uh, you're acknowledged. People who know who you are by name, that's great. If that's what you want to go to, that's fine. To set a table, the height of the table is only within you. Keep the table high, and you'll get there sooner or later. When I build my cars, um, I don't build them for any other reason than to be better than I was the previous year. It's not about impressing people for me. I feel like if I do a good enough job, you're going to know my name. Um, I just keep grinding, keep working harder, keep improving, keep learning, and you'll get there. And, you know, there's always next year. It never stops. You, you'll never know everything. You can talk to anybody around here, and you'll learn something new with every person here. Uh, it's, it's what's fun about this to me is just being creative and doing things different. See a lot of cars that are built the same, but the ones that truly innovate, the ones that are really recognizable are the ones that do things differently and, you know, do things that make them change the rules for the next year. You know, it's, that's what it's about to me. It's just being creative and, you know, just loving what you do. You know, I think it's a great opportunity just to be able to go up here and talk about, you know, stuff, derby stuff and like that. And, uh, you know, if I won this derby, it'd be, it'd be a good thing because I'd be able to tell my kids as kids, kids, you know, I won that derby up there in King of Ohio. I just want to be remembered for being a good driver and being a good kind of guy, I guess. Yeah, I just want to it, it, thank you to, to Triple D and everybody. I mean, this this is a big – I've I've been to a lot of derbies, you know. Yeah, a three-day event and concert and, and the camping and everything. You know, you guys really, really done something here big. It's a nice venue, and uh, I think we're all just, just thankful to be here and, and glad you guys do what you do to try and put this on such a big platform. You know, Derby's never, you know, years ago it was your county fair and you went back home. You know what I mean? That's, that's all it was. So you guys are, 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 are doing something for the sport, trying to build this sport. And uh, I think we all appreciate it and, and uh, keeping it alive and putting it on a, on a, higher, a higher stage uh, makes everybody feel good. Yeah, I mean, it, it makes you feel good to get acknowledged, um, but really you don't do it for that. Um, I've been a competitor all my life, and I like to compete, and this gives me a way. I'm not physically able to run up and down and do the other kind of things I used to do. And this just gives me a way to, to get out there and compete, and uh, it's great. And, and, and since I've gotten into this stuff, it's, got, it's grown exponentially. Um, 
we go all over the place. We go to Kansas. We go Minnesota, Florida. We run everywhere, and uh, it's just fun. You meet great people, and um, there's no need to get acknowledged. It makes you feel great when you do. Well, you just do it because we love to compete, and that's that's why we're here. Yeah, I agree with him. I mean, I'm just here to compete and just try being competitive with everybody, and I'm just I'm not here to make a name for myself or anything. I'm just going to, whatever happens, happens. I'm just here to compete. Before I pass this off to Steve to, to wrap this up, I just want to thank you guys uh, on behalf of Triple D for, for giving us the opportunity to put you guys in front of the camera here and showcase, you know, your guys' talents tonight and, and tomorrow. It's, it's awesome. I, I think um, – the vision of this is to create a hierarchy within the Derby world and, and crown a national champion. Um, it starts here at the King of Ohio, and uh, that's the goal. And then over the next couple years is to crown a national champion. You guys uh, coming here and supporting this, and uh, I, I just can't say enough, and, and thank you for that. Good luck tonight, okay? May, you, you know, luck be on your side because everybody knows they're going to need it. And um, it's just... Uh, the last thing I'll end with is, you know, there's going to be careers started tonight that you'll ne uh, or this weekend that you know you'll never forget. And then in Howard's case, you know, he may end on this note. So if he ends on that high note, it's just it's just really an awesome experience uh, to be a part of ourselves. Because in all reality, I mean, my team, Triple D, we're all just fans, okay? And we're fans of you guys. You guys are like our Dale Earnhardt's, and um, that's why we're here. So thank you. Gentlemen, I just want to say thank you very much for being a part of this press conference here today. Um, thanks for giving us your thoughts. We had a lot of fans watching on Facebook all throughout the course of this press conference, and I know that they have a better understanding of why we do what we do, thanks to you guys. Uh, fans that are watching at home on Facebook and watching on our stream on DTV, make sure you're tuning in on DerbyNation.tv at 4 p.m. for our green flag here today. There's going to be a lot of action, and you're going to see all of these drivers out here fighting for their spot to be the king of Ohio.